And so we meet again. No, Uther. That is not how this must begin. I owe you an apology, Commander. When last we met, I intended to explain myself. Fate, however, intervened. I restrained you only to prevent the misunderstanding that occurred with the rest of your water. Yeah, the sort of misunderstanding that ends with a field of dead bodies. Uh-huh. I get those sometimes. I sent the Withered to ask for the Grey Warden's help. I should have anticipated that you might view our approach as an attack. I am rarely able to judge how your kind will react. It was most unfortunate. My kind has ever been driven to seek out the old gods. This is our nature. When we find one, a blight is begun. Each time we attack your surface lands and you fight back until we are defeated. To break the cycle, my brethren must be freed of their compulsion. For that, I need Grey Warden blood. In order to become what you are, you drink the blood of my kind to transform. Similarly, we must transform. I have created a version of your joining that uses the blood of Grey Wardens. You take the taint into yourself. What we take is your resistance. That is how my brethren are freed. In your blood, lies the key to their immunity against the call of the old gods. I like my blood where it is, in my veins. Once they are freed, the Darkspawn think for themselves. They speak, they act. Some, however, have reacted poorly. They are flawed, and they rage against me. The Mother gathers them to stop me, as she seeks to stop you. I cannot defeat the Mother alone, and I cannot free the Darkspawn unless she is defeated. Our goals are the same. This reeks of stupid. The last thing we need is more Darkspawn thinking for themselves. Help me kill the Mother, and after it is done, I will leave to continue my work. My most flawed creation. Freedom drove her mad, and she has poisoned the minds of the others. She has influence with the ones who have not been freed, and she gathers them as an army. I do not seek to rule, my brethren. I only seek to release them from their chains. Looks like you're passing up an interesting opportunity, but who am I to say? How very unfortunate. But I cannot blame you. You are as bound to your nature as we are to ours. I am sorry, Uther. It appears that I will not be able to keep my promise after all. You will have to forgive me, Commander, for fighting to preserve my destiny.
if it isn't the hero of the hour. The slayer of the mighty father, come to claim a reward. <laughs> oh, what a delicious day. That's a lot of nipples. They just get bigger and uglier, don't they? By the ancestors. Do all brood mothers smell this bad? Am I not beautiful? <laughs> Has the Grey Warden come now to slay the mother too? Will she join the father in oblivion? Answers? My, but you are brave. Once, beautiful music sang to us from the deep, called us near. We would search for that voice. But the father, he was flawed. He heard only a twisted shadow of it. He hated what it did to us. He said he wanted to free us. But all he brought us was silence. Ah, dreadful silence. But now the father is gone. The mother can take her children deep into the earth and care for them. Safe and sound. Oh, the mother knows your ways. You will not let her be, no. Not after what she's done. So it must end. It all must come crashing down! Perhaps we will hear the song again when we die. Oh, let it come. Let it come. Ah!